Hey guys, what's happening? So, woke up this morning and noticed that my printer had stopped working. Um, I mean, I pretty much I print 24 7, and I've been doing that for years, and this actually happened quite a few times. So, I'll go through some of the things you should check on your printer on how to troubleshoot it, but yeah, this is actually very common. And it's actually the hot end. So, it could either be like the, uh, the, the, the heater cartridge, it could be like the thermistor, it could be the actual wires going back to the main board. Could be a loose wire at the main board, but I'll, I'll go through and show you what to check. But it's uh, this is actually really common. I, this has probably happened ten times over the years. So, all right, I'll show you at the printer. All right, so here is the uh, 3D printer in question, and uh, I just actually raised up the Z so you can get down. You can see down below, but yeah, a print failed last night. And usually, what you want to do is check the basics first, just the wiring. You know, this is actually the uh, heater cartridge right here. Then you have the thermistor wiring, and uh, but check the wires, check for basics. I've actually had where actually a print had a snagged the actual thermo, uh, the thermistor wire and ground in and, and basically frayed the wire before. You also want to check your wires in here. Um, like I've actually had the, these wires. Because they're constantly moving back and forth, the internal braids of the wire will snap and it, it will actually become intermittent. So that's actually kind of a more difficult problem to troubleshoot, but yeah, you just got to feed it all the way back to the main board. On this printer, I'm actually running SKR 1.4, but uh, you know, checking the main board, but most likely it's probably over here. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take off the sock here and I'll show you. All right, so another thing you want to check is maybe on your LCD if you have an LCD or like on OctaPrint is actually make sure you get actually getting a temperature reading from the thermistor. So since I'm actually getting a temperature reading from a thermistor, I mean, like I said, it could be intermittent, it could just be wire going back to the motherboard, but. All right, so one of the things you want to do is take a couple of Phillips, and you want to make sure that that heater block, well, the heater cartridge is firmly seated in the heater block. I've actually one time I had it, that fail where actually the screw became loose, and that for some reason wasn't getting good good contact with the heater block. And the thing, same thing with the thermistor, which is further back, that little Allen screw in the front. All right, this is an SKR 1.4 box. And one of the things you want to do is, I'm actually running dual MOSFETs, one to drive the uh, hot end, one to drive the heated bed. So you, you also want to check all the wires, make sure they're not loose. And actually, because this thing's actually moving around so much and, and vibrating, I've actually had wires wiggle loose, these MOSFETs. So I'm going to check all those, and just kind of go through the basics, check everything, make sure things tight. Hopefully you can see that, but another common place for these things to fail is at that little connect right there. So on E3D uh, thermistors, they actually put that little uh, connector on there. Actually, I really don't like it. Actually, I prefer when it's unbroken wire all the way back to the main board. They've actually had quite a few fill right there at the connector. Like, no, so also, if, they, if they're actually putting a connector on that actual part, that means it probably fails pretty often. All right, back in business. All right, cool. See how it goes. All right, hopefully this video helps somebody. Awesome.